What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're on the Scary account. Figured I'd give you guys a little bit of an update since we haven't been playing it all that much. Uh, we've been kind of just grinding it out, trying to get hero copies, things like that, trying to get, you know, even these guys, some more free ones, because I don't think we have any free ones right now, right? Oh wait, we do. Ooh, we do. Hmm. So these two heroes are still going to be scrapped. We're still working on a Drake, but we're just needing more copies. As far as chests go, yeah, we have like we have some chests, but not ones that we can actually get Drakes out of. We still have some resource chests, all these other fun things here. So we're kind of just waiting to see what happens, I think, because they did announce that there will be another round of imprints coming out. And as it stands right now, the last hero that has imprints are King is King Barton in the Abyss faction. They're still Cruise and then they're Scary. So if we can ever get imprints on Scary, that would be cool to see what the Scary account could actually do. The other thing we're kind of building right now is a Heart Watcher, and I cannot remember how many copies we have. We got two more there, which is the 10 star. And then that is it. We do have some cores we can open up and see what we get. We can also, of course, keep saving up for maybe another Abyss Transcendence hero. Who's on the wheel right now? Flora Dev. I mean, Flora would have been a great one in the past, but not so much anymore. We could also do a Sigmund instead of a Drake, like we're doing on the main account right now, but. I don't think that's going to be a good pick. I really, really don't. We're already to the Tower of Dreams. Sea Land is somewhere we could still keep trying to progress. The other part is our artifact situation. We kind of have like crowns everywhere. I want to get like a glittery crown on each one of them at the very least. Uh, but we are short on those as well. So we have lots of food on this account. Like lots and lots of food. But we got to hit some hero copies. Now, Heart Watcher and Drake, I think, are the two we definitely want to be going for. We're going to continue in Fate because we got we, we gamble. We always gamble. doesn't matter what the account is. We always, always, always gamble. Okay, we got one. I'll take one. Can we get another one in the next five? That would be a really sweet high roll right there. Otherwise, we're just on par for what we were already ready to do. There we go. Yes, we got another one. I was like, could you get another? Saya, yeah, we don't care about you on this account. Oh, I was like, if we can get three, that would be insane. And again, I don't really know what we're going to use them for just yet, so I'm not going to cash them in. We do have tons of Stellar Shards, but again, we don't really have heroes to invest those Stellar Shards in since we already have the V4 Queen. Maybe we want to turn those into crystals just because we're having fun here and we're doing some really, really weird stuff. I think we're still going to be stuck, though, somewhere like Sealand. Oops, that's dark. Wrong place. Here we go. Uh, what does our team look like? We do have one Ignis. We probably want, like, a second Ignis, to be honest. Second Ignis would probably be pretty sweet. Can we actually do that? We have the Ignis copies. Make, like, a nine star or something. Scary copy there. We got lots of food. I do not see Aganis copies, which again, the biggest thing holding this account back is the copies. Uh, ooh. I forgot about this. I haven't done the past couple. We are in purgatory though. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Never mind. I'm like, that's why, because we're too slow and we're just never going to be able to win battles like this so not even worth looking at it um yeah let's try sealant i keeps defaulting to dark it's kind of annoying me all right let's see what we can do it's really hard to meme nowadays in these games though because like there's just there's so many things going on we, we can't even get to the void campaign with this type of account either which feels bad Although we probably need to change her setup. I can't remember if we have... Man, she could really use an Antler's Cane on this account. Because she's just going to lack the damage output, it seems like. 
Yeah, she just runs out of rounds pretty much. So let's see if we can make her a little bit more offensive. Again, sadly, we just don't have the artifacts to support like a really offensive version of her. Brown is like literally the best artifact we can throw on her for the time being. Uh, speed attack. Balance strike. Let's use attribute reduction purify. We have damage reduction, crit, crit damage, which should be good. Uh, oh, we don't have a skin. Christmas and A skin. Yeah, we're not getting any either of those anytime soon, sadly. So uh, let's put her in the back row and maybe put like two of our scaries in the front row. And maybe that makes a difference. I don't know. The back row gets hit a little more, it seems like. I wonder if the scary should be using balance strike as well. Get more healing. If they can just keep healing up, that would be pretty sweet, actually. That way they, sh they can take a ton of hits. Because the front row does get hit more often. And I wonder if they might be the damage difference makers here. That could work out. I mean, she might. That might have been a big difference right there, having her in the back row. We got a wolf active. Oh, we just beat it out in time. But yeah, let's try that out. Oh, wait, they already are. Whoops. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, but I guess I knew what I was doing. So, you know, I don't think they need, uh, they might need control purify. I think attribute reduction is the right way here. Yeah, let's just see if we can continue on our path with our scaries. I don't know if we need to put her in the front row now because they're warriors. Yeesh. Yeah, we definitely want to do that. Definitely want them in the front row. Or rather, I want her in the front row with Ignis. I want it like that. There we go. Let's see how this works out. Don't stun her before this Ignis dies. Thank God. Okay. Can't let her get stunned in the first round. That's really bad. We do get a lot of counterattack damage to doing it this way. The back row does get hit pretty hard after that. And I think we're going to have to go back to Unbending Will on the scaries. If she can't clear this out, which I feel like she should be able to with attribute reduction and her high crit chance. It's close. No, we got the W, so it doesn't really matter. Now we got the mixed wave. The mixed wave on this faction, I don't know if I want her in the front row or the back row. Front row, okay, that's fine. These mages hit the back row, though, I think. They go down really fast back there. We'll see if she can do it all by herself with just a little scary support. I guess the scary mark... Here's the bad thing about all the new game modes. They have an ability to purify stuff. And that's really... Oh my god, that was a huge heal. Uh, it's really bad when scary's damage literally comes from a stacking mark. And if, she, if they can't stack the mark, well, they're kind of just useless. So let's switch this back over to here to here and over to here just so they can take a few more hits potentially maybe we can get this done that would be pretty sweet if we could would be nice it's a little bit overkill because technically this queen should be able to do it with other heroes that are not e5 scaries uh but we'll see we do give them a ton of energy which might be a bad thing as well they're just going to pick apart our team. We get a couple counterattacks. So maybe the little extra damage from counterattacks might be enough to do it. Um, that boss is faster than us, which is annoying. But as long as we're faster than the other ally enemies, I think we're okay. Did we switch the stone? Yeah, we're still doing the speed attack stone. So that should be good. I guess we could see if her speed enables would be enough to make her go before the boss. Just to give us a little bit more of an insurance plan. But honestly, the boss hitting and then healing maybe up to full with balance strike isn't the worst thing in the world. Like I said, if they do get some extra ping damage, I guess that's a bonus. They're just too slow to go before the enemy, though. Yeah, but the boss might kill us before. Uh, I mean, like in that situation where we take damage and then get a gigantic heal, that is a good situation. Because then we get, like, additional healing that we would have been able to not have previously. I think we can get this done. Darius actually get round one attacks off, which is interesting. We do get a little extra ping damage on the boss, which is cool. 
especially when they're taunted. Okay, now this is where we need you to win here, girl. Get rid of that crit reduction. Oh, the crit reduction is what's really, really annoying. Let's just try for the last two and see what happens if we give her 40 additional speed. Is that the difference maker right here? Because I think like she's a householder, but she has no tenants, right? She's got one tenant. <laughs> <laughs> make it stronger make these stronger go 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 give us whatever stats we can <laughs> maybe it'll be the little bit of a difference maker because like we need a probably a wall deck a marax and a delacium so i think those might be some of our next hero builds as well it just depends on when we can actually build them because queen is the highlight of the scary army the scaries by themselves are gonna take a lot of power to get it done i have seen people do it with just scaries like beat sea land i think 23 i think i saw teddy do that with his scary army but i can't remember and the boss is getting low we are faster than the boss which i guess is a good thing we just got to make sure we purify that crit reduction because that's what's going to prevent us from healing. Oh, it's so close. We got one more attempt, but this just goes to show how strong Queen actually is. Queen is probably one of the best early Transcendence heroes and by far one of the best to get to Sea Land 25 in the early game. All she really needs is like an Ignis or two. Honestly, if one of these scaries was like an E5 Ignis, we would probably have it in the bag. Big damage, come on. Oh, there's that. I think that one there is the crit reduction. The one with the sword with like the broken angle through it. So that's the one that's going to be the big pain in the butt. But uh, I think Queen can do it. I think she can. So let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the scary account. I know you haven't seen it a lot, but it's really just a waiting game since we're not spending on these accounts. So let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.